excuse me, and uh, MTU hardline data is being received and recorded as well. And work. LC, can this is ECS? Can I get site control and engineering one, please? Yeah, Roger. Right, that's site control. Site control copies E one. LC, Core 1, I count that one. Yeah, go ahead, Core 1. Yeah, first step 279, MS data is received and recording, and the MTU hardline data received and recording. Roger that, Core 1, we'll check 279. And uh, OPTM uh, LC countdown 1, step 280, at the DCOM, uh, verify using OIO stage 1 telemetry receipt via the Ethernet UDP link. Receiving using OIO stage 1 telemetry. Copy and check 280 in ORPTM. Can you confirm nominal use noise of vehicle telemetry at the LCC? Nominal display of telemetry in LCC confirmed. Copy that. We'll check 281 complete. And LEC 1, uh, can you confirm nominal use noise of vehicle telemetry at the RCC? LC LEC 1, uh, nominal display of telemetry in RCC confirmed. Copy that and we'll check uh, 260, excuse me, 282 complete. Uh, core 3 LC, uh, step 284, confirm nominal use noise of vehicle telemetry at the MCC and Echo 100. LC, Core 1, uh, Core 3 stepped off console, uh, standby. Roger that. And uh, launch team be advised, um, we are currently in our second plan, CDT hold at this time. Check step 285. And LO, LC, countdown one. 
LC, this is Elwell on countdown one. Yeah, you're going to proceed with our updated weather briefing. I'd like you to perform that on countdown net one. Roger that. Elwell on countdown one, ready to proceed. Go ahead. Okay, this is your uh, T minus one hour, 30 minute weather briefing for Antares Zorb 1. Uh, currently, we do have the uh, surface high pressure still over the uh, mid Atlantic region. We have seen the uh, mid and high level cloudiness that we had earlier this morning uh, shift off the coast as that upper level disturbance has pushed farther off the coast, and uh, we are seeing mostly sunny conditions at this current time. Radar showing nothing in the region, and we're not expecting any precipitation uh, through the launch window. Looking at the infrared satellite, you can see uh, the cloudiness mid and upper level that moved through early this morning, and behind it we've seen uh, quite a bit of subsidence and uh, uh, some mostly clear conditions uh, impacting our area currently. The uh, current conditions throughout the region showing temperatures in the low 40s. We have seen winds uh, pick up out of the northeast a bit over the last uh, hour or so. As you can see, Ocean City uh, getting a gust up to 18 knots. We've seen our winds increase a bit here at Wallops as well. As you can see on the current conditions, uh, we do see the uh, northeasterly winds at 13 knots, uh, sustained uh, gusting up to 15 knots, and we do see a few higher level clouds uh, streaming into the area just at a 25,000 foot level, temperature of 39 degrees, humidity of 48 percent. Looking at our downrange site in Bermuda, we do see a few uh, light rain showers <clears throat> off and on uh, throughout the area there in Bermuda. and. Uh, we do see the northeasterly wind, about 12 knots, temperature of 63 degrees. Observed winds from our uh, balloon sounding um, this morning at 10.30 local time. You can see the winds out of a uh, northerly direction at the low levels. As we get up to the 5,000 foot level, we see that wind shift out of the west, becoming more west-southwesterly in direction with a max wind of 122 knots at around the 35 to the uh, 45,000 foot level. Looking at the forecast winds, uh, pretty much uh, about the same as what we currently have. We do see a, a slight increase at that 40,000 foot level expected, but still keeping that west-southwest component at around 260 degree azimuth up to 130 knots. Looking at what we can expect here at launch time at T minus zero at Wallops Island, just a few clouds possible at that 12,000 foot level, just a few clouds at the higher levels at 25,000 feet. Uh, unrestricted visibilities with the wind becoming more east uh, easterly in direction and still remaining around 12 knots, sustained gusting to 16 knots, temperature of 42 degrees, humidity 58 percent. In Bermuda, we're expecting those uh, showers to still remain in the area. Cloudy skies with an overcast deck around 8,000 feet, a broken deck at 3,000 feet. We see those winds out of the northeast continuing, temperature of 64 degrees, humidity 72 percent. Taking a look at our probability a violations chart and what we can expect uh, at T minus zero. Uh, again, just a uh, very slight chance of the thick cloud rule being violated. Uh, we're not expecting that to be an issue at all. Uh, things continue to uh, improve as we go to T minus zero. Um, and also just a uh, very slight chance of those winds um, being an issue as well. But we would have to get to 24 knots sustained in order for that to be a problem. Currently, only about 13 knots sustained. Uh, we have seen a gradual increase over the last hour, but I'm not expecting that to be an issue at all. So total probability of uh, violating any weather constraints remains at 5%. Uh, any questions? Uh, no questions, uh, Elwell. Okay, roger that. Uh, and TDLC count, I wonder if I can get an updated the report on uh, uh, debris, toxics, and DFO. Am I, sir? RSO, you still on? Uh, Roger, RSO is on. LC, this is RSO. Be advised, uh, the information that we took a look at on the L-230 balloon was relatively unchanged for the DFO issue. Uh, so currently not trending in the good direction at this point. We'll be waiting for information from our L-130 balloon, which should be launching in about seven minutes. Okay, roger that, uh, RSO. Core 1, LC, countdown 1. Go ahead, LC. 
Yeah, Corbin, I need to get uh, uh, confirmation in Echo 106 and Echo 100 that we're getting good uh, nominal use noise vehicle telemetry there. Uh, can you work that through the back channels and get back to me? Uh, yeah, we do for step 283. I can confirm we have nominal use noise vehicle telemetry in Echo 106. Stand okay. by for Echo 100. Yeah, roger that. Core 3 uh, LC on the countdown one. Uh, I can also confirm uh, nominal display of telemetry in E100. Okay, copy that. The core three will check 283 and 284. And uh, launch team will be coming out of our hold here in uh, just about uh, one minute, uh, and then we'll be resuming with our. Um, uh, that will actually complete section three of WP 4360 Bravo, and we'll then be picking up with section four. So this is LD on Countdown 1. Can you meet me on Mission Director? RSA, roger. And uh, launch team, I'd be advised. I, uh, I reported that incorrectly. We'll pick, pick excuse me, picking up our account here in just uh, just over uh, four minutes. LC GCE on countdown one. Yeah, GCE, go ahead. Yeah, I want to let you know we are looking uh, at another issue. Uh, RP1 storage tank pressure is not uh, coming up properly, and it appears that uh, valve 1051, which we used to latch close when it was a uh, discrete valve, it's been changed over to a manual valve. It appears that valve is open. Okay, uh, GC, copy that. And uh, does that, uh, are we violating any constraints at this time? Uh, yes, we're not, uh, we're not at the pressure and we won't be able to keep the, uh, uh, even get the right pressurization with the RP1 tank. And this is a valve that's, uh, this is a valve that's right, uh, uh, right outside the uh, RP1 tank. Okay, copy that. Let's meet over Anomaly 1. And safety flight assurance, GSO, ACE, let's meet over Anomaly 1. 